and we are back everybody with part 31 of Dark Souls 2 Skull of the First Sin guys uh, which is technically a bonus right bonus episodes woohoo bonus episodes we love it we love bonus episodes because it's awesome okay so what I mean by bonus episodes guys is this was supposed to only of course be a 31 or 30 part uh, series as that is the uh, 30 day gold patron tier reward basically right but due to the fact that i was just so thankful that someone was so generous enough to even become a patron uh, and a tier patron um, and request a playthrough like this that i obviously had so much fun making so far i decided to do a little bit something and special and even though the 30 days are up we are going to continue playing dark souls until we finish dark souls 2 so we're going to be doing the whole of dark souls 2 with the dlc and all that i mean i was going to do this at some point anyway like, my goal was to play all the Dark Souls games because they are my favorite games of all time, right? Uh, we did Sekiro, and we're going to be doing Bloodborne eventually. We did Ghost of Shima. You know, it's just my favorite type of games, right? So, I was going to do the games anyway. The only difference was, is I was kind of like putting it off due to the fact that I, I'm just so busy. I never really have time to play games, specifically games I want to play. Uh, I'm more busy just playing the games I have to play. So, being able to play Dark Souls per request Dark Souls 2 per request of a viewer and it's one of my favorite games of all time I actually really happen to really 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 like Dark Souls uh, I actually like Dark Souls I would say a bit more Dark Souls 2 a bit more than some of the other Dark Souls games it's just a bonus for me right because I get to play a game I like and have fun playing it and my viewers get to have fun watching a game they like okay so I happen to know for a fact you motherfuckers come to life so the fact that none of you are coming to life now means the game has been programmed to not make you come to life until I go down here. And that pisses me off a little bit. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out how we need to like aggro one at a time. So I'm just trying to be very careful. Yo, what the fuck motherfuckers? You guys are supposed to come to life. You think I don't know? Are oh, they said to only come to life if I open this door? Oh, nope, that's good. What the fuck? Ghost? What is this bullshit? Fucking ghosts and walls? What is this crap? Oh, yeah, come to life now. Come to life now. What is happening? Yo! Bros! What the fuck? Why don't you come into life so I can kill you and put you into the soul into this so this guy can lift the thingy? Huh? Is it debate? Do I need to make progress first? Yes, okay. Wait, you guys come. You guys come. Come. This way. Come. 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 Come here. Come here. Yes. Yes. No. Oh, no. no, 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 no! What the fuck was that damage game? Are you joking right now? Holy shit, I got fucking four shot it from full life to death. I mean, I got stuck on one of the statues, that's why we died. We didn't die because of the guy, we got died because we rolled back into a statue, stopped our mid roll, and then we got hit. If we had rolled successfully, I would have escaped, no problem, and lived. But because I got fucking wrecked by RNG, we died. Okay, now do this, we gotta do this again. God damn it, game! It's such a high ladder climb. What the fuck? That is some bullshit, game. That is some bullshit. I'm just like, I'm like so confused because I know those statues come to life because I know you can kill the statue to make the golem soul activate so he lifts the stupid thing, but they're not coming to life. And I'm like, what is happening? I'm so confused. I'm so confused because I don't understand. They should come to life, but they don't, and I don't know why. And then my brain like stops functioning as you guys can very clearly see like it's actually uh, mentioned before in a different game I was playing I can't remember the game name, but I was playing a different game and I mentioned it. I said for some reason my, I'm I'm created this way if something does X and I know it does X and then for whatever reason one day it just decides to suddenly do Y I am fucking done boys. I am done for there's no coming back for me There you guys are I want to get you very low. 
There we go. So when you come here, I can just one shot you. One of you, easy. No, I get stuck on the same fucking statue. I got stuck on the same statue, guys. I got stuck on legitimately the same statue and almost died again. The same way. We got a mannequin claws. Fuck the mannequin claws. What are you doing, golem boy? Oh, is that legitimately how you have to activate this thing? No, no way, right? You had to lure those guys there? That doesn't seem right to me. What is this? Soul sword loot. I don't give a fuck about. S oh no, Soul sword looks awesome. Yo, bro, what's up? Come. You got two big ass shields. I like it. I like it a lot. It looks awesome. I wasn't gonna summon him because I only summoned Bastion Ray because Bastion Ray is my bro, you know, he's my bro. But when I saw this guy had two giant motherfucking shields and he didn't, he looks like he doesn't give a fuck. Look at his eyes! Your eyes are on fire! How do I get eyes on fire? I want fire eyes! Where do I get fire eyes, game? Hello? That's a horsey. No, oh, wait, 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 wait. I got an idea. No, he's poison. He's a poison horsey. What you gonna do, horsey? You poison, bro. You poison, bro. Huh? You poison. You're dying to poison, horsey. You're a sword loot. Do something, bro. You're a sword. You're doing shit. Look at the horsey. He's poison. No, horsey, no. Your a sword loot. Do anything, bro. 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 What up, bro? Don't kick me. Hey, target is also loot. Get poison again. Get poison again. Lord's poison. What's just gonna die to poison? Let's leave it to slowly die to poison. Well, also loot does absolutely nothing. I'm I'm so disappointed. Salsa loot. You know what? Bash for Ray would have done right now. Bash for Ray would have fucked this horsey up, bro. Bash away would have killed this horsey like it's nobody's business. And what did you do? You did nothing. You didn't even block an attack for me. You, you used to the south sword loot. You used. Oh shit, horsey's not dead. What the fuck was he? That. It's a very tanky horsey, I'll give you that. Gower's ring of protection. What is that? Yo, horsey, what the fuck? You did not. I mean, south sword loot, you did nothing, and now you're fucking healing up. What the fuck, dude? Wait, where's my Cloanthering? I don't have a Chloranthi ring on! The fuck? Gower's ring of protection. Gower's ring. There we go, there it is. No, that's not. That's something completely up. Gower's ring of protection. Here we go. Reduces damage taken from behind. Fuck yeah, I'm sick of getting backstabbed. But oh, I'm so fat! Oh, I'm so fat! How much is this ring? ring? This ring weighs twa 10 weight? Excuse me, game? Fuck that shit, dude. Yo, what's up? Man, okay. Yo, South Sword Loot, you look really cool, but you do nothing, and I'm kind of disappointed in you. Ah, uh, Shibanya. South Sword Loot's the biggest debate. Yo, bro. Are you immune to poison or not, bro? This is the question we need to know, bro. Are you immune to poison or not, bro? Wait, it's also just doing something! He's tanking! He's tanking! He's a tank! He's the guy we always needed, someone to tank so we can shoot from a distance with our bow and arrow. Nice, also dude. Hell oh, yeah, boot. Oh, task complete! No! No, Salsa, no! He ran away and he may stone disappeared into the void. What the fuck? That was so cool, dude. That was so fucking cool. What the fuck? You can't be cool. <laughs> he thinks I don't see him, guys. <laughs> he actually thinks I don't see him. He thinks I'm some scrubby noob that doesn't see him. I see you, bro. You're very. <gasps> oh my god, I did not see you, so I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> actually gave me a mini heart attack. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> what the fuck? Yo, you can't just sneak up on a bro like that. What the hell? What type of bro sneaks up on another bro, bro? No. What you gonna do? What you gonna... Wait, no, not two to attack. No, your sword's too big, bro. You can't attack twice like that. It does too much damage. No, don't do it. Oh, you thought you were tough, but you weren't, were you? You thought you were tough. Why did Sal Sword loot leave? He killed one guy, bro. He didn't even kill one guy. He tanked one guy's damage. And then he left. He did nothing. You know what Bashful Ray would have done? Bashful Ray would have killed all the enemies in the zone for me. And I would just chill. Bashful Ray, he's a true homie. You know what I'm saying? Bashful Ray is someone you can rely on. Bashful Ray is never going to let you down. He's never going to mess around. Uh, that might be a mimic. No! Okay, it's not a mimic. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna mess around. Da 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 Look, you can legitimately see his teeth. Do you guys see those? Do you see? You can actually see his mouth. The chest is like semi open ish. Do you guys check that? Do you see? And you can legitimately see his teeth. What the fuck, game? You can't reveal that it's a mimic before I even get to the chest? That defeats the purpose of it being a mimic. If I know it's a mimic before I get to the chest, what is the point of it being a mimic? It might have well just not been a mimic at that point. You understand, game? Do you understand? You're never gonna get me. Now that's how you man the fuck up. Washing pole again? Wait, we can duel Sephiroth? Sephiroth! Bum ba da ba da ba da ba da ba Sephiroth! What is the black steel katana that's doing? Awesome. Check it out, guys. Sephiroth! Can we dual wield? No. Look at it, guys. We have two swords. Bam, 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 bam. But isn't there a way to dual wield? I don't know. It's pretty cool. We can do double set for action, baby. <laughs> and can we run, please, game? <laughs> when I was a child, I used to do that. I used to see how many flights of stairs I could jump down, and I always wanted to try and like beat my previous record of how many flights of stairs I could jump down in one go. And now that I'm an older person, I realized I was just trying to kill myself very early in my life, but I failed, and now I'm stuck here. Not dead. Bro. Bro. I see you, sir, over there with your bow and arrow, like a little bitch. Imagine using a bow and arrow like a little bitch. Imagine it. Imagine. Wait, it's raining. Electro will be extremely uh, potent. Yes, I played Pokemon as a kid, guys. What can I say? You know what was amazing? Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh was the shit. Can we get some more Yu-Gi-Oh up in here, please? I want a Yu-Gi-Oh game. I want a nice Yu-Gi-Oh game to play on the chat. Did you guys hear goggles or was it just me? Am I gonna land on this thing and get attacked by a bunch of goggles? Let's go. What's up, bro? I fucking knew it, dude. You didn't even try. To Wait, where are you? You didn't even try to hide it. No. Do you not? Did you not listen to? Did your family not tell you the story? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm, I re I regret all my life decisions. I'm out. Woo! No, what not? You can follow me. What is this shit? 
kind of goggle can fly? LOL What now Mr. Goggle Boy? Now you can't do shit Huh? What you gonna do? You can't do anything You're useless You're useless I say Oh you're burning You're using your flame breath oh, I shame You smash You smash Goggle smash Yeah what now Goggle Boy? Bitch Get. So you get for thinking you're stronger than me. You're not stronger than me. No one is stronger than me. I'm a cheesing bow using asshole. And I will hide from you all game long and use my cheesy bow. Oh shit, that's that. Oh shit. Wait, is that the entrance hall? That might be the entrance hall. Um. Yeah, bows are kind of stupid, guys. Bows are kind of stupid. Not gonna lie. Hello. Why are there sorcerer girls in here? That makes no logical sense, game. Mm. Mm. I'm out. This is not even your domain, ladies. Your domain was on the other side of the map. What the fuck? They did drop something though. Magic stone. Oh. How cool would it have been if we actually got a sorcerer's outfit piece there? They're so rare. So rare. Is this a debate chest? There's no way, right? I don't think so. My chest now. Wee. Is this flash shot? Nice! That's not bad. That's not bad. Open sesame. I wonder if there's gonna be any bosses that we're just not gonna be able to beat because we're using a bow only. Like, the, the boss is just gonna be on our ass too much so we can't actually kill it with a bow only. Or is it possible to just bow only this whole game? Whee. Yo, Bertram, are you here now? No, he's not. I don't know how Bertram is here. Like, do you have to do his quest line or what's the deal? I know you can have Bertram here, but I, I fucked up something. Wait, what? Does Dragon Riders have gold stashed all over their place? Is this gold? It is gold! It's like a... So usually you would have a dragon lair, right? And the dragon lair would be full of... Uh, with a dragon full of gold. But in Dark Souls, they're like, fuck that. We're gonna give you a dragon fighter. Something that kills dragons. And they're gonna have all the gold items. Which I think is a pretty unique little uh, gimmick. Up we go. Taking an elevator. Up we go with the elevator. Why there's even elevators in this game, I'm not sure, but there is. It doesn't really make sense because elevators don't shouldn't have existed back here. Well, I mean, they could have had like pulley systems, I guess, but like this, there's no way, bro. What what mechanical system is powering this? I need to know because it doesn't exist in real life. Hello guys! What the fuck am I looking at, bro? King, key to King's Passage. Soul Vessel and Fire Seat. And strong Magic Shield. No key to the end in inventory. Oh, he's got a key slot in his face! Do I need the key to save you, little girl? How do I save the little girl? Key to the M. Key to the M. What is this? Frozen flower. Key to the M. Embedder. Embedder. Key to the Embedder. I'll be back, little girl. I'm sorry. I don't know what to do to save you. 
I didn't get far enough in the game. I'm, I'm not even sure. I, I can't even remember how to save her. Like, my brain is, like, like scavenging through my archives. Like, is this girl savable? Where do you get this key? What is this about? Is this a scholar of the first sending suits of thing? I do not remember. Because I just don't remember. I don't remember that at all. Oh, you know what? The next boss might be very difficult because the next boss's shield 100% reflects all incoming damage, no matter what it is. Use key to King's Passage. So actually, the next boss might actually be impossible for us with our current setup. King's Passage. King's Alluring Skull. Fuck your shit. Fuck your shit. There we go. <laughs> what now, little stone soldier? Boy, that woke up from the other side of the world. What the fuck? No! You can't wake up from the other side of the world. That's not fair. That's not fair. That's not fair. No! No, it's not part of the game plan! Run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. Run away, run away, run away, we gonna run away. Ha ha, what now, motherfuckers? Woo, bitch. I don't think I landed a single one of those shots. I didn't think they would aggro so quickly, actually, to be honest with you guys. <laughs> yeah, the bow is kind of stupid, actually. I think, but it takes like all the difficulty out of the game. Actually, actually, it doesn't. I actually, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the bold. I'm gonna be bold and say this right now. I think the bow actually adds a layer of difficulty to the game that I don't think people expect, and it really is like quite difficult because of that. Because I think if you play with the bow, what happens is you get used to this far range cheesy combat shit. And then as soon as you have to fight something close range and legitimate, you just get your ass handed to you because you're like, what the fuck, dude? I can't fight these people. Is this Bertram? Is this anyway? Ash and I, boy, fuck you, boy. You're useless. Remember that time you tried to fight Duke Frey, you got your ass handed to you? I don't believe you. Should we go, should we try poison? I mean, there's no way poison works. We can try it. Let's go. Bus time. Now, I did not expect to beat this boss. I mean, that's a great start. Absolutely astounding start. No. Ah. No. What was that shot delay? I mean, you look kind of badass. I'm not gonna lie to you. You ever heard of Caesar? You kind of make me think of Caesar for some reason. No, not the lightning blast. We are. Oh, it's very soft now, they nerfed it. Oh, he's poisoned! Lol, he actually got poisoned! I was memeing again. Why is my memeing working? Wait, I'm gonna pop double heal. Oop, no single heal, we don't need double heal, we're fine. What's he gonna do, dude? Whee! Nope, that was... Oh, he got me. No, he didn't get me, because I wasn't actually shooting. I thought I was, though. Uh, nah. Uh, nah. Nah. Oh, that second attack, though. Very nice. Very nice. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Do something. Are you? Oh no, he's summoning things. I forgot he did this. Actually, I actually forgot he did this. Very annoying. No. Uh. So this this the the gimmick on this boss fight is that, um, which is actually pretty cool by the way, is that he can summon people. So actually, when you play the game online, you actually summon humans, like actual human beings. 
like you, like out there watching this right now, could have been you. But instead, it's just this guy. Who are you? Are you uh, the collector? Or who are you again? I forgot your name. I'm sorry. You didn't. You didn't stick out enough for me to remember. I'm sorry. Nothing personal, kid. But like you were pretty boring. Like I don't. Know, I think like in the majority, 90 percent of the enemies were too easy. So I don't remember you guys. I'm sorry. It's nothing personal. I promise. But don't do this. It's very spam. I have a problem with spam. Your sword looks awesome, by the way. Can I get your sword? I don't know if anyone told you, but your sword looks legit. No, don't do this, don't do it. No, no, no. It's very hard to actually dodge that. Ironically. I'm gonna pop it here. No, nope, not. I was gonna pop it here, but then I realized that he was about to attack. That's muscle memory, baby. That was muscle memory right there. Like, I was like, gonna pop it here, and then I looked at him, and I was like, you know what? That move, that looks like an attack move. And it was. Because my muscle memory kicked in, baby. I didn't know I didn't know you could poison the the last night. I feel like it kinda cheeses the fight a little bit too much, but it's okay. You can die to poison, it's fine. Do, 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 do. Hey, you can't die to poison, right? No, he's something something. No. I wanted you to die to poison, bro. But you were busy summoning something, you had to kill you. Looking glass night. So, there's no way that gives me a, a boss, uh, a bow. So I'm not even going to bother going to check that for one of us. But I mean, something somewhere has to give me a bow, right? It's impossible that none of the enemies give, don't give bows. It's actually just impossible. There's no way they would make a game with his boss soul and boss soul weapons. And not a single one of these boss soul or boss soul weapons gives a fucking... Um, gives a... Uh, a bow? There's no way, right? I don't actually. I did. I honestly did not know you could cheese them with, uh, with, uh, with or cheese so many bosses with poison. Interesting. It's actually very interesting. Going downtown. Going down the elevator because I I, I can. I think I remember a secret here somewhere. I think I remember a secret here somewhere. I cannot go that high. I could be wrong. And there isn't any secrets here. Yeah, maybe there isn't any secrets here. Maybe I'm wrong. Probably wrong. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I don't think there's any enemies here. I think it's just straight to a bonfire. Get out of my way. My Adam. Green Blossom. Nice. Very helpful. Nice little fire. Can I light my torch here? I can. Light my torch. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. No. No, ladies and gentlemen, no. For everyone that knows. For everyone out there that knows, you know why I say no. I'm in there. Probably one of the hardest and most scary first time zones in the entirety of Dark Souls. If you come to Amine for the first time and you do not know about all of this, about all of this, about all these ledges about these really strong enemies about every tiny detail of this area and of course 
the thing I'm pretty sure every single one of you remember with the cold sweat. Homing soul arrows. Yes. Homing soul arrows are indeed a thing, ladies and gentlemen. And they're terrifying. But for now, we're not going to worry about that. We're going to go back to Majuda and do some leveling up and relaxing and go for a swim and just have a good old time. And we're going to come back here in the next episode. We're going to do Amana. And uh, we're going to hate it. I'm going to tell you that much right now. We're going to probably get very angry and very tilted and cry. There's probably going to be real life crying on the spot. Is that a shard? Yes, yeah. it is. I find all the shards, baby. Uh, ba 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 and ba ba and ba ba. No, ba ba ba. Yes, I like it. Oh. Damn, that was expensive. We only got like three levels out of that. Shit's getting really costly now. Shit's getting really costly now. Max. Okay, raise the bonfire. We burn it. We are humans, so that's fine. Shrine of Amana is next, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys are looking forward to that. That place is truly, I think, a first timer's hull on a easy bosses, ironically. Wait, where the fuck is Vestal? How deep does that go then, if you think about it? That shit goes deep. Vestal's so deep, and Avengers even deeper than that. Holy shit, you go deep in this game. Like, the distance you travel downwards is actually kind of ridiculous if you think about it now. Now that I think about it, it's actually kind of crazy. But, uh, we'll talk more about that in the next episode. Now I'm going to end the episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I truly hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time with more Dark Souls 2.